<laughs> what could possibly, etc. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's getting louder. Niagara Falls. Slowly, I turn. Is step robot Hitler by attacking step. Baltimore? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my where's, where's my mother effing gun? <laughs> Probably your other muffin the other muffin uh, uh, pants. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending June eleventh, twenty twenty two. Let's get to some weird anime news. So the vampire dies in no time um, is fairly popular, very <laughs> fairly successful. Um, and its main character, Honda, is really big on celery. So what do you do? Of course, you make a fragrance. A celery fragrance tie-in to The Vampire Dies in No Time. That's right. Um, Tempoy Funk? Prime Maniac is making uh. a tie-in fragrance line with the anime, featuring scents associated with characters' personalities and aesthetics. Um... This line already launched three years ago in 2019, featuring Drop and Ronaldo. Um, oh. Second installment involves Hinaichi and Honda. Hinaichi's keywords, this is a, a fragrance thing, are, um, and this is, this is, so again, not, not Honda, Hinaichi. Orange, lemon, apple, rose, lily, ozone note, musk, amber, and patchouli. The hell is ozone note? And, and, and Honda's are. Bergamo, lemon, celery, leaf green, verbena, rose, mugit, um, not nougat, moss, amber, and musk. Mucus? <laughs> M U G U E T. You can, okay. M U G, I'm gonna. The vampire scent is yes. musty, <laughs> dead, oh. slightly rotty. Um, <laughs> uh, Mugay, it is a, um, a species of thrush. Apparently. Species of thrush? A, a flower of great importance in the world of perfumery due to its sweet green scent. Turns out. Um, each bottle costs a mere 49 US dollars. So, I'd rather buy Akira. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so jump right on that. Why don't you? No. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, let's move on to some general news. Um... Uh, big news in the world of Berserk, uh, at least the manga, um, Koji Mori um, uh, announced that the Berserk manga will continue Ooh. this year. Um, its creator, Kentaro Miura, um, passed away, obviously. Um, and so they're going to continue it on. Um, full announcements are available. It'll have the following credits. Original work by Kentaro Miura, manga by Studio Gaga, supervised by Koji Mori. Mm. Um, Studio Gaga is Miura's studio um, and uh, Mori noted that he discussed the ending of Berserk with Miura um, 30 years ago oh wow <laughs> <clears throat> um, and after Miura passed he'd been sort of thinking about it and he's like okay let's let's go ahead and move forward so um, both Mori and the young animal editing part promised not to deviate from Mr. Miura's own words so they're going to huh? do it as intended. As best they can. Good. Yeah. I still wish they'd come back to Kazuma Stigma and do the same thing. Mm -hmm. but his staff would have come back and, like, finished the story. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Um, a lot of that. Um, let's see here. Um, skipping some Tezuka news. There's some more Tezuka manga coming out. Um, some sweet news this week. Um, Hayao Miyazaki um, is working with. Um, uh, Takorozawa City to preserve the spot of land that was the inspiration for uh, the uh, house and forest in my neighbor Totoro. Hmm. Oh, wow. And okay. to preserve that um, as an urban green park. Nice. Yeah, so that was based on an a, a, uh, actual location. Um, the city is going to spend about 13 million US dollars buying back three and a half hectares from its current landowners. Uh, hmm. Miyazaki will be a core member of the resident group and is donating $2.2 million out of pocket for that. Uh, the project needs a total of about $19 million. Wow. Um, Studio Ghibli is also assisting with fundraising. They'll have a crowdfunding campaign, so forth and so on. And they're going to sell um, some limited edition reproduced background art from My Neighbor Totoro. Which would be kind of nice. Um, 
So that is the idea there. So that's kind of cool. Um, uh, Miyazaki has actually uh, uh, done cleanup in that area himself. He likes going out and doing like cleanup stuff. Hmm. Good for him. Um, shout out to South Michigan New Studio. Interesting. Um, Shaft Aoi will uh, has launched in the Shizuoka City in the, in the Aoi Ward of Shizuoka City. Um, it'll focus on um, hybrid and full 3D CG work. Um, it'll be a full studio capable of everything from in between to finishing. So curious. Hmm. Um, the original Shaft was established in 1975. By the way, been around a while. <laughs> Um, we're getting new Junji In- Ito anime, which excites a lot of people. Not necessarily us, <laughs> in fairness. <laughs> um, Netflix is going to be releasing Junji Ito Maniac Japanese Tales of the Macabre, um, which will be based an anthology show uh, uh, about 20 stories of Ito's body of work, animated for the first time. That wasn't the same thing that was supposed to be on. Uh... Adult Swim, was it? I don't think so. Was that the spiral one? No. Um, no, that was something different. That, that never materialized. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, well, I know Crunchyroll has been running Jinji Ito. Like, yeah. Crunchyroll loves yeah. Jinji Ito for like the last two months. Yeah. They just keep piling it on. Like, okay, good. Uh, good. Um, Ito did say that there's a Jinji Ito Masterworks collection. Um, an adaptation of his Masterworks collection in the works. Mm. Um, that is a collection of some of his more famous works. Uh, which has a total of 11 volumes. Uh, um, mm. Published in the early 2010s. Junji Ito Collection is a 2018 anime. Mm. Um, so yeah. More Junji Ito anime coming. If that's your jam, you're yep. really looking forward to it. Cool. Go for it. Um, also, more Sonic anime. Um, there was an announcement of a uh, um, prologue to the new Sonic Frontiers, an animated prologue featuring Knuckles. Um, and there's also um, um, a preview of a new Sonic Prime 3D animated series. So, cool. Sonic's still around. Hard to believe back in the 90s that Sonic would still be, you know, a big deal today. Um, moving on to some anime announcements. Um, the beast tamer who's exiled from his party meets a cat girl from the strongest race. Is getting an anime. Um, Good. Yes. Um, Hooray. Yay. English title <laughs> is, thankfully, Beast Tamer. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um... Basically, the um, the main character is a a beast tamer, um, a, a beast master, if you will, um, who is banished from the, uh, from his party because all he can do is talk to animals and interact with animals. Uh, then becomes an adventurer and meets a cat girl. Shocker. That he can then talk to. Yes, exactly. Like everyone else. Um, and it turns out oh. cat girls are the strongest species, apparently, in their world, which I, I think is accurate. That sounds right to me. They're just beasts. <laughs> Nuka Nuka got me anything. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yes, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Earth a kit. Um, <laughs> watching an adaptation of Moshi no Ko, um, a sort of idol themed manga, which I happen to have read the first volume of. Oh, um, I looked into this. So, How, um, how'd you happen on that? I, just yeah. going through Amazon. I was like, this looks an interesting manga. Um, so, main character is Goro, a doctor, um, who is also a fan of an idol, a teenage idol girl. And then one day, he comes into his practice um, to handle a teen pregnancy. Oh. And it's her. Um... He is, he kind of uh, fangasms, in fairness. Um, but then he, you know, okay, I'm a doctor, fair enough, I'll take care of this. Um, she, of course, has to sort of retract from the limelight. She, she is just, like, she is just far along to start showing. 
And so it's like, okay, now I have to stop, you know, idling and so forth. Um, and so he is her doctor, take, progresses her through all of these things. Um, get ready. <coughs> the day she gives birth, <coughs> he suffers an accident and dies... And is reborn the baby. as one of her children. Oh, God. Okay. Why do we do this? <clears throat> Why do we do this? And, of course, his sister... Don't. ...is another fangirl uh, of the idol who is also <clears throat> reincarnated along with him. And they have to... You know, they're, they're, they're competing to be the, the biggest fan of their mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I was so into this until like the last three pages of this manga and I was like oh oh mm. don't know. Why don't do know. we do this? Why do we, do this? Why, do we th know. why do we make these choices? I don't know. I don't know. So, mommy, 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 I want to breastfeed first. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, so, I will say the tone <clears throat> is very sweet. Hmm. Don't know. But just, just saying. That's coming. Look forward to that. Yeah. I'm going to need, like, some strong recommendations on that one of me to be even remotely interested in seeing any more. <laughs> I just, yeah. I, uh, I just keep thinking electric problems. Electric problems. <laughs> electric problems. What was it? Uh, uh, Kvasser? Kvasser no Soma? Mm. The one oh, where the guy... Oh, Stigmata. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kvasser yeah, 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 Stigmata. Oh, um, yeah. <clears throat> That's all that runs through my mind. Yep. Be like, oh, here we go. Mm. Same for the... Instead of yep. being a little, but little now guy. They're related. It's a baby, and they're related. Like, <laughs> oh, kill me. <laughs> Wow. Uh, uh, um, you imagine that big reveal, eight years old. So, Mom, i got to tell you something. <laughs> Remember Dr. So-and-so that I supposedly never met that you really mm -hmm. liked because he was a good doctor? Guess what? Mm -hmm. You've been mm -hmm. feeding me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. And here's my sister. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. um, have you guys seen any of the new Castlevania anime? No. No. Me neither. I've heard great things about it. Um, I keep meaning to, and then another series pops yeah. up. Yep. And I'm like, is I it Netflix I, uh, series or something like that? Yeah. 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 It's Netflix. Yeah. It, it's it's almost like kind of like fate ish in that way, where yeah. it's just like like literally, it's just like, oh hey, next year new new Castlevania thing. Mm. Here you go. Yep. Yeah. Well, new Castlevania thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Spin-off series, um, Castlevania Nocturne, focusing on Richter Belmont, um, descendant of the original show's protagonists, Sif Sifa and Trevor, um, and Maria Renard. So, um, he said in France during the French Revolution in 1792, which I gotta say is a neat time period for a vampire story. French Revolution? Like, I like that. Let's get to your <laughs> Not me. There was a, Not there was a lot of uh, very Not short me. haircuts about around <laughs> yeah, here. Exactly. A lot of exanguination, which would work out great for vampires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, these uh, Richard and Maria were protagonists in the Wonderful <clears throat> Blood Castlevania game, by the way, mm -hmm. and I'll get others, obviously. So that's cool. Um, again, glad to hear. Um, Interesting story about, um, oops, switching that back around. Um, the official website for Futsal Boys. Um, oh, mm -hmm. yes, that show. Um, they announced that there, there's going to be five new short anime, um, each focusing on a different team in the franchise. Because hmm. we need to. Because we need that. Um, mm -hmm. With some screenshots. Um, but they also revealed the end of the smartphone game. Hmm. Yeah. Where after nationals, the bus crashes and all the boys <laughs> end up having to go to like a rehab facility and they can never play <laughs> soccer again. Or a futsal, sorry. Yes. There will also be some audio dramas continuing the smartphone game's story because of course the game has a lot of story. 
Um, <sighs> Kick the ball, Billy. <laughs> I will. Thanks, Jim. I think we could get the Nationals. No, we can't. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, so just kind of interesting the fact that, that like you know this, the smartphone game, which presumably is what kind of kicked the whole thing off. Um, kicked the whole thing of, off. I, you know, did that? <laughs> I did. Um, <laughs> is ending, but we're getting a bunch more anime. So I suspect it's one of those things where okay, <laughs> fair enough. Moving that to the side. Anime is going strong. Keep doing the anime stuff. But We've hit our goal with that thing. Ah, yes. I am but so even... going to smack both of you. I swear <laughs> to God. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll try not to get tied We're anymore. just trying to score a good comment right. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hunt. No, wait, Red Bronx card. Bart. Damn it. Um, Red card. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, another uh, anime announcement. Um, Roaming the Apocalypse with my Shiba Inu is getting an anime. Um, uh, Maya Uchida will play the high school girl master of the Shiba Inu who is also the world's sole survivor with Mitsumi Tamura playing Haru the dog. That's all I know. That's all I can give you. Does the dog have dialogue, or are you literally paying a voice for actor to be like, woof, 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 woof. I, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but that is apparently <clears throat> a thing. Um, it, should be, it'll be interesting whether it's a super post-apocalyptic world, or is it sort of like Quiet Country Cafe, mm -hmm. where it's like, She's the last person. She and her dog are wandering around and just basically seeing the world return to nature, quiet returning to what was the busy hubs of humanity like Tokyo me, and Osaka. Kyoto. I'm, actually, I'm literally pulling it up right now. Um, or is it screaming, burning death? It's a four coma. Um, well, if it's boring, I mean, it, what is wow. it? Coma, but that's not important here. <laughs> um... It's, it's a comedy. Um, oh, huh? It's a little etchy. Um, now you've got my interest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here and there. Um, aliens show up. Um, Still got my interest. Yes, Keep going. Keep absolutely. speaking. <laughs> um, the tone is a little more... It's not quite Girls' Last Tour. Okay. But it, it, it's that, you know... We're here just kind of wandering around the environment. Kino's journey-ish, but Maybe with no, like, of, but, quests and people but to as help as a out. comedy. As just kind of a, a hmm. kind of a screwball, just kind of weird comedy thing. Um, hmm. Do, 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 do. Um, the, the Shiba Inu does talk, although, I mean, is it really, she's talking to it, it is replying back to her, is it just her thinking it? Is it just her psychosis? Yes. Mm, yes. Exactly. yes, it is. Um... But it definitely, it, it, it's definitely comedy. It's just kind of them wandering around, doing things, um, making jokes, um, stuff. Um, Going to a got, graveyard, okay, picking I'm, up a skull. Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him yeah, well. Um, I am maybe 30 strips in, and the girl's gotten naked twice. So, just saying. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a highbrow piece. <laughs> yes. Perhaps a connoisseur, as myself, should mm -hmm. consult it. Yes. Yes. Um, also full color, which is nice. Huh. Full frontal and full color? Hey. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's not quite 10. Damn. <laughs> yeah, no, not quite. Um, speaking of manga, but not announcements. Um, get ready, folks. One Piece is taking a break. One Piece... <laughs> One Piece is going on a one-month hiatus. What? You're we not can't. Get, I know. I know. We you're, can't. You're, you're, you're not going to get more One Piece for a couple of weeks here. Um, Which means the entire staff is on massive carpal tunnel recovery. Yes. <laughs> no, can't um, be doing this every week. <laughs> well, precisely, Eichiro Oda announced this is in preparation for the manga's 25th anniversary. And the final saga. 
yeah. of of the third arc <laughs> yeah, 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 of yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, fifth yeah, yeah. side story. Yes, of chapter. Oh, one. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and then for the next twenty five years, we'll be getting back to ending arc two, <laughs> and then arc one, and then the main story will be sometime in the next two hundred years. Awesome. Yeah. Good to know. Um. Uh, you also um, point out that they make the live action Netflix series. Yep. So he's involved in that. Um, uh, One Piece film Red is opening in theaters, so obviously he's busy promoting that. Um, wow. And uh, uh, the, the 20th anniversary is in July. So uh, uh, he actually said in a comment several months ago that a couple of folks came to him and said, Hey, dude, take a break in July. Like, just, you need to take a couple of weeks off. You're, you're gonna, this, this isn't going to work. He's like, eh, it'll be fine. And now he's like, yeah, I'm going to take a month off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. You're doing your time. Not talk to people. <laughs> not deal with anyone. Oh, this is dude, what I'll be doing one, time. Job. Oh, your left eye just keeps revolving. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you got to stop. Yeah. That's um, the meter that tells me how much I'm going to start slapping people. <laughs> and the faster it goes, it means it's closer to me slapping the crap out of you people. So let's take a break. Good job. Exactly. Um, finally, a, a few final uh, manga announcements. Um, uh, if any of you are into software development or into, interested in software development, uh, with the Shonen Jump Plus um, has, start, has reopened its uh, Shonen Jump app development contest. Um, <laughs> uh, they did it in 2017, 2018, 2019, and then stopped. It is back. Um, basically, they are looking for people to propose manga based digital ideas ideas for digital manga and innovative ideas for for sort of um a delivery of that um in previous years um um they actually like made real apps out of the winning entries there was an yes. ar technology that allowed folks to exchange digital manga volumes to a real world map um and there was a uh i love this the shunkang shonen jump app um in which two people would get together and they would unlock free chapters to read when they both jumped at the same time. Shonen jump. So, like, physically, actually? Physically, yes. If you physically stood there and doomp, you get a new chapter. And it would unlock. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> kind of I like it. Though. I like yeah, that. It's innovative. That's really interesting. Yeah, so. Um, entries open through September 16th, and they've got a budget of about um, 370,000 US dollars equivalent um, to uh, work on a winning proposal. Death Note tried that, but it, like, nobody, they, yeah. you know, that's hard to have two people die at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ain't my name. Now nobody's I'll read your name. <laughs> yeah, then we both die. Now we can't read anything. Ah. <laughs> Why did you not think this through? Yeah. What a terrible idea. <laughs> um, find the new manga from the uh, duo behind Dead Man Wonderland. <clears throat> All right. Um, Retropolis Scratch is the new okay. idea. The Kyoto Youth Tattoo Battle Action Manga. Okay. All right. Main the characters. tattoos come to life and they battle. Taboo tattoo meets not skate the infinity. Not even that. Uh, um, oh main character uh, runs away from things. Uh, uh, instead of entering high school, he runs away to Kyoto. Um, he stumbles into some alternate reality world where, I quote, tattoo artists take place in a battle called Boku Senkon. Dueling tattoo artists. Like, shonen, man. Tat shonen. Tat Anything can be made can shonen. Fight each other? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the key art shows um, two characters holding up these sort of thorned ring, thorned yeah. circle things. Uh, I could do a tramp, tramp stamp half the speed of you. Oh. oh, no. What's that mean? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Look at um, this butterfly in your buttock. I could do that like nine times faster than you. Oh, that's a great battle. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you want a tattoo of a Chinese, Chinese character for potato? Here you go. 
Um, I want this to say live, love, laugh. Mm-hmm. And it says, That's totally what it says. Uh-huh. Potato, yep. ramen, cheese. <laughs> <Yeah>. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. That's an awesome battle. Uh, what happens if you lose? You die. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. Wow. Yeah. The stakes are so high. Mm-hmm. Um, Let me enter into this tournament where I could die. Yeah. No, thank you. Apparently. But only by invitation from a secret organization mm. um the description does say that he has to use his escape skills in this um what i'm wondering if the tattoos like grab you and like you know, grab hold of you in some way shake you like a baby yeah and so you have to like get away from them <laughs> so you're not, you know oh that's it so he, he, he I bet this is what it is. So you have the tattoo artist, but the the victim. No, I'm sorry. The person <laughs> that they do it on gets like strangled by the tattoos if they're that good. The tattoos literally consume the the host's body because they're so powerful, and so he needs to like wriggle his way out of the tattoo as it's being put on his body so it doesn't kill him. I'll bet that's what it is. So we're going to see like the tattoo artist and the victim, uh, the person getting the tattoo, like face punching Hello Kitty like a billion times. <laughs> that Hello Kitty tattoo is so realistic. I got to fight for my life. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm intrigued. I couldn't even get through like episode two of, of Taboo Tattoo. So <laughs> I don't have great hopes. I'm going to wait for your review, Brett, and yeah. let me know. Oh, <laughs> like, I didn't say intrigued enough to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> read it. Uh, um, but, you know, Dead Man Wonderland, definitely, you know, a hit. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that thing's going on there. Yeah. So, mm. so hopefully they can, uh, they'll, they'll, they, they, hopefully they got something there. Lightning will strike twice. Yeah, maybe. Um, That's all the news this week. Thanks for watching. See you all next week.